The recent Western activities in Lebanon under slogans of reform and relief are intensifying. These moves come at a pivotal point in the history of the region, which made the August 4 blast an opportunity for major countries to flock to Lebanon, carrying with them their political projects decorated with salvation. After the catastrophic explosion, Beirut turned into a pilgrimage to which those with restored colonial dreams and agendas began removing the eight smokescreen. This was evident by the French-Turkish debate last week when Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan accused French President Emmanuel Macron of having one purpose in Lebanon and that is to revive French colonialism again. However, this debate seems to exclude the overwhelming American glow that is pushing towards global instability through extreme pressures. This was translated into a French retreat from all the conditions that Macron had introduced when he visited Lebanon right after the blast. It is no coincidence that Britain and France rushed to send planes, destroyers and soldiers to Beirut, while the United States announced that its soldiers are contributing to relief work in Lebanon. This Western military arrogance has no relief justification, as it is a desire to show a military balance regardless of how serious or weak this balance is. The warships sent by Paris in London have nothing to do with assessing the damage in the port of Beirut, as this is a task that experts in explosions and emergency workers carry out and who simply can fly to Beirut. Nor is there a need for fleets to send aid as civilian ships can do the job. This leads to the conclusion that the military presence has a political mission, in addition to its task related to the tension between Turkey and European countries in the context of the dispute over eastern Mediterranean gas and other geopolitical issues. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.